Hey everybody, it's Steph Mishuk with KillerSites.com. In this quick little vlog, I want to talk about the default email address. Now, a default email address is basically a catch-all email address, and most websites, uh, the service provider, well, your ISP, no, excuse me, not the ISP, the hosting company rather, will. Uh, the, the server will probably be be configured in some ways uh, to have this. So I'm just going to go into cPanel here for one of our domains and I'm going to look for the default email address icon right here. It might be placed differently for you even if you have cPanel. If you don't have cPanel there's definitely going to be some sort of catch-all or default email address. So let me just get to it to make my point here. Basically if somebody sends an email to your site and they send it to a, they send this email to an account, an email account that does not exist, the catch-all or the default email address can be configured to route those emails to some special default email box. Now this can be useful if, for instance, somebody misspells your name, sends the email address, uh, sends the email and the catch-all will catch it and will route it to a mailbox you can check periodically. That's cool. The downside with this is that if you start getting spam email, email and I guarantee you will in time, it could start clogging up this default email box with tons of spam. That's what happened to me recently. I was going through some long, uh, long needed maintenance of some of our uh, sites and I found that uh, for some reason the default email was set up to actually catch the email addresses and save them. Uh, not the email addresses, catch the emails and save them. So uh, I had email boxes filled with uh, over a gig of emails which uh, just really clogs up everything. Another option that you have with the catch-alls or the default email addresses is just to have the system have your server discard them immediately. Now there's a couple of different ways you can do this. You can do just a plain discard as we see down here. Discard, just throw it out, that's it. Emails that come in that are not addressed to an actual user on the system, they get thrown out and you don't have to worry about it. The problem with that approach perhaps is what happens if somebody's trying to send you an email and they misspell it, they misspell your name or something, and it, it gets caught by the, the default address, but because your default ad address is set up just to just trash it, it just goes into the, uh, you know, it just gets trashed and nobody knows what, you, know, you don't know that you, you got this email and the person who was trying to send you a legitimate email, they don't know that it's been trashed. Another option, as the option I have selected up here, is to discard with error to sender. So basically what this does, it shows a failure and it gets bounced back and in this case it says no such user here. This way, at least if you have a legitimate user, they will know that the email did not get to you. So this is probably the best way to do it. I wouldn't do any forwarding, I wouldn't save it, etc. Piping to the program, these are more advanced options just in case you have some fancier um, requirements. But there you go. So now you know about the default email address or the catch-all depending on what server you're using. You'll have it configured and they'll give it a different name rather. Um, that's it. I hope this, this was useful and uh, we shall talk soon.